So you asked management to unionize them. What did they tell you? To go pound sand. Because Percival doesn't care about you. I mean, all you asked for was to be treated fairly, like human beings. Well, he doesn't see you that way. To him, you're a piece of equipment, like a shovel or a sledgehammer. And make no mistake, Riverdale is at a crossroads. What you do now will not only set the course of your future, but the future of your children and their children. Yeah. Don't we want to live in a town where if we put in honest day's work, we get paid an honest day's rate? So we can keep a roof over our heads and feed our families? Yeah. What about from your childhood? Could you tell that there was something different about you? Why did you not let up? I'll admit, I'm trying to better understand certain parts of myself. It was this one time I caught a possum in a trap in the attic of the Sisters of Quiet Mercy. And what did you do with it? I call it um, textbook serial killer behavior, total cliche, really. <laughs> <laughs> kind of like um, when you uh, killed Caramel. No, no, no. Those examples are nothing alike. Caramel was a mercy kill. I think about that possum a lot. I imagine if I could go back in time and set it free. Instead of uh, doing what I did to it. Maybe my shadow self would have remained dormant. Crazy to imagine, huh? Yeah.